Hi everyone, and welcome to another session of Onki How To with me, Mike Els. Today we are talking about event-based maintenance and how we can use that in our favor for typical things like shutdowns. All right, so when we configure Onki with intervals, we typically configure tasks with intervals for calendar, like every week or every month, or we can use usage-based intervals as well. So it's things like um, if the 15,000 kilometers we service our vehicles, every thousand hours we service our generators, those type of things. But if we have another option where we can configure events, think about your plant shutdown maintenance work that you want to do at the end of the year, or perhaps you want to close off a floor for revamping at some point um, in your commercial facility, then using events is a great option for you. With events, we can link tasks to that. We can also link work orders to those events. So throughout the year, knowing that you've got a shutdown or a revamp coming up, you can just keep on adding work orders to this event. And when you're ready to plan and schedule for that specific event, you can use that as a tag or as a filter to show you all of your work orders specific to that event. All right, let's go to Onki and have a look how we can do this. All right, first up, we have our events dashboard in Onki, and I have created an event here for us, code, description, and the important part, we need to specify an event date. When will this event occur? We also have this option, adjust work orders. Very nice feature. It allows us that as soon as work orders are attached to this event and we change the event date, then the required by date for the work orders will also be updated. So imagine you have a shutdown for the middle of December and you've got a bunch of work orders linked to it. For some reason, your shutdown is going to move out by a week or two then you can just update your event date here and it will automatically update your required by dates on your work orders as well. Right, so after we have updated or created our event, then we can go to our work orders and we can link work orders to this event. So I've done that for a couple of work orders. First off, I'm going to use my profiles and I a profile here that shows me only work orders that is linked to events and it groups according to my event description. So here's my shutdown 2023 work orders. And we can just open up any one of those. And if we go to planning there on the event, we have shutdown 2023. Right, and are we required by date? There's our required by date. But if we change our event to, let's say, January the 3rd, save and go back to our work order and we refresh, you will see that the required by date updates also to January the 3rd. All right, so that's the one thing we could do. Link all of your work orders against events. Um, you can then also go to your work order timeline and start using that as a little bit of a, a project management tool, seeing when work orders are due and when work has started and those type of things. Again, I'm going to go here, choose my profile that I've got set up, looking only at specific work orders, and I'm going to zoom out my timeline a little bit. And there's my work orders with the code where it's taking place. And these green bars then indicate um, when, when it needs to start, when it needs to be done, when it actually started, when it was actually done by the red, and then some other dates for our interest as well. And this clear line showing where we currently are in this project. So yeah, go and have a look. Have a look at work on a timeline, how you can use that as part of your project management. Now the last thing for events, we can also link that to our preventative maintenance tasks that we have configured on our assets. 
So here we've got an asset called the Infi conveyor. I've got a task called refurbish rollers. And under my scheduling, I've made this task interval type events, and I've specified the event when it needs to come out called Shadow 2023. Now what I can do, I go to my proposed work orders, and when I generate my work orders, I can generate for a specific event. So here I can choose event, Shadow 2023, and I can run that. Um, Um, let's have a look at one of our other videos where we actually discuss how to generate work orders. Right. Excellent. And that is events in a very small nutshell. If you've got any questions about events and how you can use that for your shutdowns, for your revamping, and how to implement it as part of your optimal maintenance plan, to get in touch with us. Yeah, thanks for joining today and thank you for using OnKey.